Hey buddy, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Megan. And in today's video, it's the new year, and I decided to like vlog, vlog me going into the new year. We're gonna 2021, going to 2022. Uh, it was a week and a half left of the 2021, and I'm like, there's no way the universe can have like a lot of bad things happen in my life. It's just, it's not possible. It's too short of a time. I was wrong. Universe had other plans. And it's gonna linger into 2022. So is Megan's year gonna turn out to be like crap? Yes, yes it will. But that's okay because maybe the saying is true. The darkest before the dawn. Maybe my year is gonna be horrible. Beginning of the year is gonna be horrible. And then maybe at the end of the year, it's gonna be amazing. I guess there's only one way to find out. To live it. Anyways, you guys want to see my cute setup? It's so cute. Happy New Year with the 2022. There will be pictures coming. Oh, I'm falling. Ah. Um, there will be pictures coming because I will be taking pictures in front of them. So, hi. So, as part of this little vlog, I wanted to do like a little recap of 2021. So basically, just to like sit here and tell you guys about what happened each month. I'm not going to be explaining every single little like bad and good thing that's happened in my life or anything like that. But I tried to do like a summary. I will include some pictures or videos or wherever on the screen. Obviously nothing triggering. I'm not going to post any triggering stuff. But I do have a notebook for notes because I can't remember everything. Starting off the year, I started off the new, new Year's with friends, which I would never do. I actually went out and was with like a group of friends and that's how I started my New Year's. But the month did was a rough start. I was just dealing with like a toxic relationship. Not, and when I say relationship, I'm not talking about like boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm talking about like relationship. The other reason why I'm saying relationship is because I don't want to specify what kind of relationship. It could be like any relationship for all you guys know, but I'm just gonna say it was a tox it's a toxic one. I hung out with quite a few friends that month. I also bleached my hair blonde, which I then became confident and I didn't really care about what anyone thought, which was an accomplishment for me because I always been the type of person to like care about what others thought about me. Overall, the, mo the month was okay. February was when my last therapist went into her maternity leave for three months. And then for those three months, I decided to see a temporary therapist, but for only three months, just to have the support. So I don't go to without therapy for three months because I couldn't do that. At the end of February, I had started seeing this uh, new therapist. For me, if it's opening up to people for my mental health, it will take months to trust you, months for me to fully open up to you and just fully trust you and open up to you. So I'm just like, how is this temporary therapist going to work? Cause like, I'm not gonna open up to her for like a good few months. I was scared and I was still dealing with toxic relationships. Um, and again, that month was an okay month. Going into March, I started to pay more attention to my body. Now, I've been struggling with body image since I was 16, so this is like nothing new. I actually wanted to start losing weight for the summer because every summer I'm like, I need to get into, I need to get into shape. I need to lose a little bit of weight. It eventually opened up straight away to, to, this ther to the new therapist. I, for the first time, got pulled over. So that was really fun, fun experience. I thought I did something wrong. I thought my parents were gonna be super mad at me. I thought I was gonna get in trouble when I got home. My anxiety was through the roof. Like I kept stuttering over my words when I was talking to the cops. I was legit shaking so bad. Like I could feel the anxiety throughout my entire body. I even got home and tried to eat supper. My anxiety was so bad, I couldn't eat. March was an okay month. Um, and then in April, I decided to stay with my therapist, which is now my current therapist. And I am so thankful I made that decision. Don't get me wrong, I loved my last therapist. My current therapist is just different from all the therapists I had. My gut was telling me that like, hey, stay with this therapist. <laughs> I got a new phone, my iPhone 11 that I have now. Then I got COVID, I lost my taste and smell. I have a back, but it's not the same. I was grieving a relationship that I had. 
not to death or anything and then april was an okay month again and then may i still was grieving that one relationship i started to eat less and less which caused me to almost faint in therapy which um by the way is actually embarrassing to like almost pass out in front of your therapist I mean, I know my therapist was 100% not judging me, like, whatsoever. She was more worried about, like, if I was okay or not, um, like, physically. <laughs> but that was not okay. I'm never gonna forget that. Then I went to North Dakota to see my cousin. It was her graduation party, and we barely get to see each other because she just lives so far away. That month was the beginning of a bad month. Like it was starting to get bad. Then June started, I got a new job at another hotel, better pay. So I was grieving over the, the relationship badly. The relationship, I was grieving over the person I saw in person. So you can imagine that that completely broke me later that night. And then that month I started to work out and eat less. So I was restricting my intake and working out so that's not good very unhealthy but then i got to see my internet best friend delaney we met on tiktok and found out that she was she came up to minnesota a lot and where she went was only an hour away from me so basically i would drive halfway and then her one of her family members would drive halfway and i would pick her up so we got to see each other then i turned 20 and then I saw Delaney again at the end of the month. We went to a fair, so it was fun. Um, that month was, I mean, like, good things happened, but it was still kind of like a bad month mentally. In July, I was still grieving that relationship. My eating got real bad. I was restricting and over-exercising, which that month was a bad month. Um, and then August, my anxiety was the worst. I had six panic attacks within a month. That's never happened. And in that month, one of those panic attacks was my worst panic attack I have ever had in my entire life. So that was also a bad month. My aunt and cousin had came down to see us, which, and then I went to Sunflower Field with Delaney again. So we hung out three times that summer. That was a, a bad month, but good things still happened. September was the second worst month that has that were to ever happen. September is when I got into the lowest I have gotten like I was just dealing with so many things all at once and it just it kept piling up and piling up but I was crying daily and multiple times a day but my eating problems were at the worst at the absolute worst like there was one time in Target I was just alone I, I was by, by myself so I felt so dizzy I had the worst headache because guys if you don't eat enough you will get headaches every single day like migraines every single day sometimes the medicine will work sometimes it won't i had the worst headache i was so dizzy i felt like i was legit going to like tip over in target i was i was obviously restricting my intake and over exercising uh, very badly that was like a horrible month just a horrible month in october i was at my lowest that i've ever been at in my entire life and only my therapist knew that uh, and then november is when i started to restrict again but i wasn't working out um and then i would just i and then i eventually had battled my mind for getting help because i was i was open with my therapist about this like situation and so like she kind of like tried to like help me and talk to me and be like i think you need to get help it's gone to the point where it's gone too far you're out of control like you need help and i didn't want to get help but i bat i legit battle i would be i would cry part of me wanted to get help the other part did not want to get help and coming up to this month beginning of this month i was now 100 percent starving myself i wouldn't eat a single thing for like weeks like a week or two week and a half about there it started to affect me physically so i have finally asked my therapist for help I'm like, okay, I was explaining to her, I'm like, I need help. But then the following week, my mind got too loud and it's, and then my mind won again. And the following week, I went to therapy and I told my therapist, I don't want to get help anymore. And plus the place that she recommended, it wouldn't work anyways. But then the next week, the following week, so like two weeks ago, I told her that I wanted help again, but I want to see a dietitian. And she's like, well, do you want me to make the referral? I'm like, might as well. And you might want to do it now before Megan changes her mind again. 
the next day they had called me and i set up an appointment earlier this week this past week they called me saying my insurance wouldn't cover my dietitian appointments but like i can't afford that so now i still have to cancel that yeah um also work became very very stressful but now work's not stressful then i tried crumble cookie for the first time because it they just opened up so the worst has happened like i said other things have happened but i'm not gonna talk about it i'm ready for 2021 to be over because it was a crap year but i also don't want 2022 to start there's two hours left of 2021 all right guys there's about a minute left of 2021. I have my little countdown thing. I'm gonna be honest, just a little scared for the new year. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy new year. Oh my gosh, it's 2022. <laughs>